Hey Cloud Gamers, so Rogue Company has landed as open beta and early access for those that have managed to purchase it. So we had to get our hands on it and have a play. We are looking at GeForce Now on the left, maximum settings 1080 rig in the middle and the shadow boost 1080 on the right. Unfortunately, because this is an epic store game, there is no way to get an FPS counter or statistics on GeForce Now, so you're just going to have to compare how it looks and plays versus the other two here. GeForce now did give me the 1080c here and that's why I'm looking at 1080s across the board. So starting off we're looking at the frames per second in both maximum settings and shadow boost and they're both dipping into the 50s there at the store and as we're diving down to the play area both bouncing around between the 80s and 100s there. GeForce now looking very clear but looking at the hair of the model here, GeForce Now is looking a little bit better. I'm using my MacBook Pro for this test and Moonlight for maximum settings and Shadow Boost's Alpha Launcher for the metal. So we can see the difference in the contrast, colours and just general quality of the streaming engines here. I think GeForce Now is looking a little bit better overall. Shadow Boost colours seem to be a lot darker although that is in a slightly darker area of the map, but if you're looking at the character models and when we're in the main area for shop, it's looking a little bit different. Going into a bit of individual gameplay here, this is the maximum settings rig. As I said, this is streamed using the Moonlight streamer. There will be a bit of input lag as these servers are in Canada, but for the connection quality and everything else it does play quite well you can see there's a little bit of lag there but most of this is to do with my ping rather than the machine because if you look at the actual machine itself it's pushing 140 frames per second there but if you're looking at the hair on the model it is a little bit fuzzy so moonlight does have a little bit of a quality drop there but when we're looking over the shoulder it's looking pretty clean as we hit some of the gunfights, see those frames per second dropping, so it's quite a range between 140 down to 90s there. Beat me to it there. Again, up into the 100 frames per second mark, so switching over to GeForce now. All enemies have been... This is the biggest difference I see when looking at the character models. If you look at the backpack and the hair of this character, it doesn't have any kind of outlines or anti-aliasing effects that were present on maximum settings there. And the map does look pretty good. It's a shame that I've got no real way of showing the frames per second here. But overall it is quite stable. Move here. This game is very harsh if you don't spot where you're getting shot from. And because you've got that third person view, people are able to peek around the corners and set up shots on you before you even realise they're there. Which I fell victim to quite a lot until I got used to it. I'm down. Got the objective. Help me out. You okay? And obviously you okay? getting shot in the back quite a lot. I'm good. So last but not least, onto the shadow boost on its own. And again you can see here in the plane there, down to 59 frames per second. So both maximum settings and shadow boost dipping into the 50s at the top there. And again if you look at the hair of this character you're kind of seeing that weird outline. Frames per second again bouncing quite a range from the 80s, 90s all the way up to 150. You can see the CPU and GPU are not really doing a massive amount so I'm not quite sure why the FPS bounces around so much. Oh, 
What is clear is no matter what engine I'm playing on, I still suck at this game. Though I am getting better. Demolition is definitely the more fun of the game modes. Strike out is a bit of a weird mode. But the fast pace of the rounds does help keep you engaged. No enemies remaining. The job. Well done. So rounding off with a bit of side by side again. You can see the difference in the colours and contrast here on the ship. And again, it's just that outline on the hair just looks really weird to me. But looking at the backpacks as they come in, G-Force now is looking the clearest here. And I'd say it's pretty tight between Shadow Boost and the maximum settings 1080. It's a bit too close to the call, so let me know in the comments which you think looks the best out of those two. Thanks for watching. For all of the latest on cloud gaming, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.